She was fine until you started in on her. She wasn't fine. She hasn't been fine for most of her life. Well, I don't believe that. This is all coming from you. Your fear, your paranoia, whatever turned you into a self-destructive alcoholic, you're playing it out on Dorian. You're dragging Kelly and Cassie along for a sick ride, Mel. What about the lies we've already discovered? The phony death certificates, the stories you've heard from Melinda, and even from your own mother. Is that my work, too? The fact that Dorian has made it this far is a testimonial to her drive, to her energy, to her appetite for life. If she's reached the point where she'd rather take a header off a staircase than, than deal with how her parents died, even you must see there's something profoundly wrong. And if she doesn't learn how to deal with it, she'll self-destruct. This is important for every person in this household. And one person who isn't here, your daughter, Star. I'd be willing to bet you would move heaven and earth to get at the truth for her sake. Mel? Mel? I know, I know. It hurts. But I know a way to make it stop. Just tell me, Dorian. Tell me what happened. How did your parents die? They died in a plane crash. No. Miss Stonecliffe lied. She falsified the death certificates. She buried your parents on the farm, but there was no plane crash. So how did they die? I don't know. All right. Let's go back to Melinda's accident. Oh, please, Mel. She was sent to the hospital, right? And then, all of a sudden, your parents left the farm. Why? Mama did it. And then she made me ride in the race. What did your mother do? She cut the girth on Melinda's saddle. So it would break. I knew what would happen. So I didn't want to race. But Mama made me. How? How did she make you? With a carriage whip. She put Blue Lady, my horse, on the cross tie. And then she picked up the whip. You were right, Melinda. And you will tell nobody what you just saw. Do you understand? Do you understand? But we'll end up with Mom. You will ride in that grave. Go to the lake. No. 
Leave me alone. There is nothing on God's green earth that would make me leave you now. I'm so tired. I know. You don't have to say any more tonight if you don't want to. But I'm staying. Only you, though. Okay? But, Dory, we're the family. Don't make us go. Mother, please. Bye. Bye. I'll get it. Kramer's trying to squeeze in one last crisis before the year ends. Believe me, this one won't fit into the time of life. But you come in. Joanne, Mel, ladies, happy new year. Oh, happy new year. All right, what happened? I oh, had a little fall. Oh, please. It was a big nothing. As you can see, I'm just fine. Now, I would like all of you to go ahead with whatever plans you had for the evening, okay? Wait. I'm going are to be you, here with Mel. Are you sure that you are all Yes, fine? I am you sure. Can... You can trust me on this. You're going to be fine? I'm going to be fine. Goodbye. Have a lovely evening. Get going before all the champagne in Landview is gone. All right, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go find Max at Rody's, but I'm going to be back. Yep. Yep. Well, then I guess I'll go, too. Well, I'm taking Cassie home to change, so, uh... We'll drop you. Okay. Have a good New Year. You too. We do love you. Happy New Year, Mel. Enjoy the New Year.